Hello everyone, welcome to Online Mass TV. Here we are again with another challenge on the board. Before us here we have a very nice exponential equation. Okay, um, the exponential equation is not uh, a problem per se, but the only challenge we have here is that we are having um, the basis are different and also the exponent has a quadratic equation. So how do we solve this for the value of x? But before we go into today's challenge, if you're new here, this is All I Mass TV, where we drop amazing video all the time on challenges that have to do with mathematical um, problems. And yeah, we solve mathematics all the time. So if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, there is a bell icon there. Turn it on for all notifications. In other words, whenever we drop an amazing video, YouTube will notify you that a video has been dropped. Yeah. And you will be among the first to get our video watched. All right. Now, let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. The question reads, 4 to the power of x squared minus x minus 6 equal to 7. What then will be the possible value of x? That will satisfy this exponential equation. All right. So without much waste of time, we take our solution here. Solution. Okay. Let's put down the question, which is 4 to the power of x squared minus x minus 6, close bracket, equal to 7. Now, if you look at this exponential equation, the first thing we're going to do here is to uh, take log to... Uh, base 10 or both sides of the equation. We can swear take log to base 7 or base 4. But let's go gradually. So yeah, we want to take log to base uh, 10 or both sides of the equation. If we do this, this will give us here log your base 10, okay, your 4 all to the exponent x squared minus x minus 6 close bracket equal to the log of 7 base 10. Good. Now, if you look at this, this is an exponent. Here we don't have an exponent. So, we want to handle this exponent. And according to the law of logarithm, which says that if you have, um, if you have log, let me put it here, if you have log, let's say a p, okay, to the power of k, then what do you do? Move this k backward. Okay, if you do that, then it will give us k log your p. Okay, here we have a natural our base, which is base 10. So if we look at this, we're having an exponent here. So what do we do? Move the whole of this exponent back here. So this will now give us here x squared minus x minus 6, or in bracket, into our log your 4 base 10 equal to your log 7 base 10. Easy. All right, now, look at the x we're looking for here. So what we do here is to divide both sides by log 4 base 10. So if we go ahead to divide or through by log 4 base 10, we equally divide this by log 4 base 10. And so this, we go with this. Easy. So we are left with our x squared minus x minus 6 on the left-hand side. Okay, so let's proceed on this side. So that we see what to do next. Okay. All right. So from here, this will now give us your x to the power of 2 minus x minus 6 equal to your log 7 base 10 all over log 4 base 10. Now, here comes the challenge. Here we are having a quadratic function here. So how do we solve this to I'll get the value of x? Look at what we do here. All we need to do is to factorize this part of the equation. Okay, so how do we solve this? We're going to take this as an equation on in its own. So if we take this, this now implies your x squared minus x, then minus 6. Let's take this to be equal to 0. Okay. In your quadratic equation, using the completing the square method, what happens here, since the coefficient here is unity, what we do here is to send this to this side of the equation. So if we do that, we're going to have this x squared minus x equal to positive 6. At this point, we add 
the half coefficient of x and square it to both sides. In other words, I take that again. At this point, what we do here is to find the half coefficient of x, square it, and add it to both sides of the equation. Now, what is the coefficient of x here? It's minus 1. So let's do a simple arithmetic here now. So we have here minus 1. The half of it is times 1 all over 2. So automatically, this will give us here minus 1 all over 2. There, we should square it, okay, and add it to both sides of the equation. And so this will now give us your x squared minus x there plus bracket minus 1 all over 2 r squared equal to your 6 plus your bracket minus 1 all over 2 r squared. Is it? Good. So what we do here again, at this point, this guy will leave the system. So we can I add this and this? together because here we're having a square here we're having this so this now becomes your x minus one all over two or to the power of two this is equal to your six the square of one here will give us one and the square of minus we give us positive so we're going to have here plus your one all over four easy Okay, so what we do here, let's handle this part of the equation. So if we do this, this will now give us your x minus 1 all over 2 r squared equal to the LCM is 4. Okay, so we have here 4 times 6 will give us 24. Is that not? Okay, so if we have 24, then give us here 24. Then 4 into 4 will give us 1. Then 1 times 1 will give us plus 1. Okay, so we now end up having x minus 1 all over 2 r squared equal to your 25 all over 4. Easy. Okay, so we can now move this to this side of the equation. So if we do that, then we're going to have here x minus your 1 all over 2, okay, bracket r squared minus 25 all over 4 equal to our zero here. So it is what we have here now that will factorize to give us everything we have in here now. So let's go ahead and merge this with our initial equation. So let's continue from this other side again. Okay, now from here, let's bring this in place of this. So this will now give us here your bracket, your x minus one all over two close bracket r squared minus 25 all over 4. This is equal to your log 7 base of 10 all over log 4 base 10. Easy. Okay. Now, what we do here is simple. Let's rewrite this expression here. Remember the law of logarithm that says that if you have, uh, let's assume you have your log um, let's take m log m base a and um, your base number with the log number are not covenant to simplify what you do here you can change this base number to a different number okay so if you do that this will now give us here a uh, log your m let's take this to let's say base c big c all over your log um, a B C. You remember this law? Okay, so we are going to apply this law. Everything we have in here, we are going to apply it to this part of our logarithm. So if we do that, we can rewrite this as our bracket, your x minus 1 all over 2, close bracket, r squared minus 25 all over your 4, then equal to your log 7, okay, base 4. Easy. Okay, so what we do here is easy. Move this guy to this side of the equation. So this will now give us here bracket, your x minus 1 all over 2, r squared equal to your log 7, base 4, the plus your 25 all over 4. At this point, we can take the square root of both sides to eliminate this square here. So this will now give us the square root of this side equal to, or sorry, the square root 
of everything here. And immediately we introduce our square root. What happened? We also introduce our plus minus here. Okay, so this, this will leave. So we now have this to be your x, then minus 1 all over 2, equal to your plus minus the square root of log 7 base 4 plus your 25 all over 4. Easy. All right, so let's continue on this other side to get our final answer. Because from here, we have to move this minus 1 all over 2 to this side of the equation. So let's continue on this other side. All right, so from there, we're going to have our x. This will give our x is equal to, you know, when the minus plus is the sign of equality, it turns to plus. So we're going to have your 1 all over 2, your plus minus the square root of log 7 is 4, the plus 25 all over your 4. Okay, so we have two solutions from here now. So if we go ahead to split this sign here, so we're going to have here our S1, therefore X1 is equal to 1 all over 2 plus the square root of your log 7 base 4, the plus 25 all over 4. Okay, then your x2 will give us here 1 all over 2 minus the square root of log 7 base 4 there plus your 25 all over 4. All right, so these are the two possible roots we can make or have from our exponential equation which is this okay so we have our x1 and x2 okay to our challenge yeah all right so this might be end of this exponential challenge if you learn something good from this exponential challenge then give the video a thumbs up and if you have any question with regards to the explanation in the process of um uh, giving out the procedure if you have any question then drop it in the comment section we are good at replying to comments all right though we have some backlogs of comments that are all replied but i'm already into that i'm doing that right now i will leave no stone untouched in reply to all comments more to be released again if you're new to this channel this is all i must tv and my name remains jix animal your favorite tutor on youtube remember i love you why because you are always there you made us proud in the time past and we are still there and viewing our content. We love you so, so much. And every one of us at Online Mass TV loves you so much. Thanks once again. Bye for now.